The original work I've been doing in Japan is uh, uh, setting up the computer networks around the nation. So it's called the JU net. So uh, sometime, sometimes, uh, you know, some people said the JU net is uh, named after my name, Jun, but actually not. Uh, Japan University Network. Uh, with the UUCP protocols and the, then the emails and the, et cetera. But uh, also, uh, you know, the interesting thing about the JUNet is uh, introducing the hierarchical domain name space before the uh, anybody else, so before the internet and the other thing. So uh, the computer networks like uh, JUNet was uh, uh, in other countries as well. So uh, uh, then, uh, you know, but the most significant characteristic of a JUNet was uh, all the email was uh, uh, RFC 822 standard, which is an email standard for the internet, but uh, also accommodated the Japanese character set and the languages. So that was uh, basically uh, what I brought to ITF and uh, made a speech. I was the first uh, uh, attendees to ITF uh, uh, from Japan, I believe and then you know, giving a kind of a keynote type of a lecture about the, how that the multiple languages uh, should be accepted into the messages of the internet because it was already there and then they you know, uh, kind of uh, tried to propose as a standard way for internationalization of the internet the text messages. So that was the very, very first uh, uh, you know, appearance of uh, my idea to the ITF community. The biggest challenge is, uh, for the uh, initial uh, internet working in Japan was uh, uh, to uh, you know, uh, be accepted as a part of the regulation you know, because uh, there is a telephone regulation, very strict one, uh, existed in Japan. So the computer networking was uh, considered to be uh, you know, uh, moved by the government or government-influenced uh, uh, telephone company. And so the internet is uh, coming from the other parts, computer scientists and uh, you know, the computer networking people, which is uh, totally different from uh, telephone approaches. So uh, uh, that was uh, uh, hardly understood. And then you know, sometimes it, uh, it was a conflict. The one, even after the internet is uh, being, uh, con, you know, uh, getting popular and uh, being understood, then you know, the question about the who's gonna who's gonna play the role of the internet, from the bottom up type of uh, you know academics and the universities or the the you know the government and telephone companies, you know, those are the conflicts, like other countries, but also in Japan. Probably yeah uh, the the greatest memory about the contribution to the internet technology was uh, uh, the IP version 6, which was uh, defined in the 92, uh, you know, started to discuss in the 92 for the um, uh, IP internet protocol next generation discussion. And the, then you know, uh, the, I became a member of IAB and uh, then uh, uh, right after the 92 INET in the Kobe. And then I started to work on uh, uh, defining the next generation of the Internet Protocol uh, things. And then in starting all over from the previous stages and uh, then the you know, uh, selection process and other things. So uh, I've been very much involved on a kind of a, a discussion inside the ITF and IAB uh, about the IP version 6. The, Internet changed my life, of course. Uh, you know, I've been uh, working on the uh, internet space, uh, traveling around the world, meeting all the people, and uh, I've been, you know, serving as an advisor to the prime minister for uh, 13 years, and uh, you know that is all because uh, of uh, I, I'm being. Uh, uh, expert of the internet. So the, in Japan, they call me uh, Mr. Internet and the father of the internet in Japan. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's almost everything. <laughs>